Seaside American Legion, so I think we're in the seaside. It's right after this town that we're in Astoria, Oregon. So, yeah, 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 yeah. Or we can sing the song Down by the Seaside on by, uh, Led Zeppelin. <laughs> I actually have that on uh, MP3 download. <laughs> it's a good song. I was thinking about it, you know. I should have put more music on the computer, you know, so we can have something to listen to and jam to, but it's yeah. like, well, oh, what are we doing over here? Seaside. Seaside. Have a good day. Take care. Yeah, you too. So anyway, there, Mike, now that I got you on cam and everything, how excited are you on a scale of 1 to 10? <laughs> you look like you're like going to like fall asleep and like by the time we get there, you know, I'll say, Mike, Mike, look, look, the bridge, look, look, the gooey house. You'll be like, wee, 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 no, okay, so no wee, 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 wee. <laughs> Well, they also do that in Three Stooges, too. <laughs> I know it's like just you, me, another guy, and then the bus driver. How cool is that? Yeah. And it's a Wednesday, you know? Yeah. What do you normally do on a Wednesday when you're not traveling across the country? <laughs> Make the hospital. Yeah, they all go to Yep. Yep. Amen. <laughs> <laughs> I'll add that prayer. Yeah. <laughs> I guess I've been praying for four years. Somebody has to end the prayer here. <laughs> uh, well, anyway, we're just about there, so hold tight, everybody. Here it comes. Here it comes. Ba ba boo. Ba ba boo. <laughs> <laughs> now I'm just going to start being all crazy and nutty, though. I lost a lot of bolts, and now we're losing a lot of nuts. I don't know. <laughs> I'm going to go to the theater and get a radiator. Pick up some cement or some cement. <laughs> 
<laughs> I don't know. I don't know what I'm saying anymore. I guess when you go to, to uh, a town that you've always felt you had a big connection with, you you get a little weird sometimes. Yeah. Hey, look, a 99 cent store. That is closed. <laughs> well, is that? Well, I bet you I know why, because they probably thought, they probably paid the person 99 cents to, own, to run the store. <laughs> Is that, wait a minute, it's called the 99 cent store, but you can't, you gotta pay me more than 99 cents an hour. <laughs> Whatever, that's my joke, I'm sorry. Enjoy the fish. Just <laughs> a little bit there. Eh? Well, good morning, Mr. Sunshine. Good morning to you too. Well, it's all nice and bright and early. And hey, weren't we supposed to be up at 6.30 this morning? What the heck? What time is it? It's 10.44 a.m. Yeah, and then right now our time will be 12.46. Jeez, I don't know what to say. Um, <laughs> well, you know, I guess we could explain it because, well, on the train, oh, look, boat. Look at that. Big oh, old wow. boat. Our Titanic has arrived. <laughs> anyway, got to explain this here. We didn't get much sleep on the train. And, you know, I love traveling through the train. I, I know now that, uh, you know, Mike, you know, has a well experience on that now since he's had his first time, and then of course he'll have his second time when we go when we're on our way back, back home. But the train is comfortable to sit in, but it's not really that comfortable to sleep in. I was surprised that we got any sleep at all, really. You know, how about you? Were you surprised? I mean, you know, on the train anyway. Are you surprised we got any sleep at all? Yeah, that's it. Loud and crazy and. Yeah. Full of musical talent and everything. <laughs> where we were sitting on our side seats anyway. Well, I don't know if there's no side seats, but where we were sitting anyway. Uh, our train, or the train was making so, many, so much noise. It was like, somebody needed to put like a wad of WD-40 on there or something. You know, it sounded like it was passing gas. <laughs> well, anyway, this is our documentary for day, well, day one here at Astoria, Oregon, but technically day number three on the trip. You know, because we started out on Monday night, but technically not. Actually, is it day three already? Yeah, Tuesday, I suppose. Yeah. God, it's already Thursday already. What the heck? <laughs> and we just arrived last night, as you saw in the video. Anybody that wants to check out our YouTube videos, you'll have all the information of all the videos that we shot. <clears throat> because I said that we we're going to make this a lot different than the documentary. Like, YouTube videos were just stuff that I didn't want to put in the documentary. I didn't say they're going to be really long. I mean, I, I probably may have said that they're going to be like 20, 30 minutes long, but it depends. we got fast internet here. we got a laptop and everything, so we got fast, super fast internet, so I guess we'll see what we can do. Yep. But today is going to be a special day. I don't want to give too much away uh, for the ones who will probably watch this on YouTube, but uh, I guess since it's already happened, you know, by the time we watch this, the, the fun thing has already happened, but something in this bag... Uh, is going to uh, represent something to have to do with the Goonie House. But we don't want to say anything yet. Nope. So, so what do you think about your first day in Astoria, Oregon? Let's go outside. Let's lock this bad boy up and get going. I brought the key. You got your key with too, just in case? Or? There it is. Oh, there it is. Should we say what room number we're in? Well, I guess it won't. Well, we won't. <laughs> I think they kind of saw that in one of the pictures of you. will follow me on Facebook. Anyway. <laughs> Lights all shut off, everything. I buy a hotel room. We'll see you a little later. <laughs> we'll see you when we get back. <laughs> so where are we staying at there? At the Lamplighter Inn. So for anybody that lives in Astoria, I'm sure you're familiar with this. Now we get 100 people coming over here. <laughs> waking us up at night. <laughs> yeah. No, I don't think... I don't even know. I mean, it's hard to say how many people actually... That watch my videos anyway. How many people actually, uh, you know, live around this area? I think a few people live around Portland. We had fun in Portland yesterday. <laughs> uh, we had fun uh, just going to Portland and, and seeing everything that we could see and, and uh, experiencing something so cool. I think that's what we're smelling there. Oh yes, taking oh, yeah. pancakes right there. We were kind of wondering what the smell was that we were, you know, smelling, and it was a good smell. It wasn't a bad smell, right, Mike? We've smelled some bad smells before. But <laughs> yeah, we have. <laughs> anyway, yeah. pig and pancake. 
we might have to try that out later. <laughs> so many opportunities here in this wonderful town. Astoria Sunday Market, Mother's Day through October. It just so happens to be Mother's Day, the week or the week that we decided to show up here, Mother's Day weekend. Uh, originally, we were supposed to be here next week, but our boss, you know, who you know, let us come down here in the first place, wanted us to try for this week, the week of the 8th through the 13th instead, so. But it's okay, though. Or at least we're here, you know, we're, we're, we're taking it in, we're, we're sucking it all in. <laughs> sucking all the, all the life out of the air, I guess, or whatever that means. Well, speaking of the air, hey, check out that big balloon out there. <laughs> yeah. What's up with that? I think it was like, was that like over here? When we got here yesterday? Yeah. And now it's over there? Must be like a big stringer. Should be invisible too. But, uh, yeah, look at that thing. Let's see if we can get up close here. Oh yeah, looks like a big blueberry. <laughs> a big blueberry in the sky. <laughs> <laughs> well, should we make this our first stop here? We're here at the Astoria Warrington. Boy, it's pretty loud. Can yeah. you hear what I'm saying? <laughs> No. no? Chamber of Commerce here. As I told Mike, you know, the one thing you gotta understand about this place here in Astoria, it's a small town, but there is a lot of traffic. I mean, it's like for two miles, or maybe even longer. It's, uh, yeah, people, cars going this way, cars going that way. I mean, it's just, it's crazy. But we're gonna check out the Chamber of Commerce because a little later, not right now, but a little later, we're gonna get Mike into some Goonie apparel. Because I don't have to get any Goonie shirts because I already got two already. Of course, you know, right here, you know, <laughs> I'm represented already. Plus I got the one shirt that I bought uh, four years ago when I was here. So let's go inside and take a look and see what we can learn. Okay. <laughs> you know, in a moment like this, Mike, I'd like to sing the song to you. Under the boardwalk. <laughs> By the drifters. Yeah. <laughs> no, I won't sing. <laughs> I'm thinking I'm slowly losing my voice. I hope not anyway. Or else I'll have to have you do the filming and speaking or whatever. And I know you're such a loud mouth, you know. <laughs> no. <laughs> Is this your first time ever going on a, on a pier or a boardwalk? Yeah, this would be my first time doing this. Because we don't have these where we come from. People that have watched my YouTube videos know that there ain't no piers or there ain't no, there ain't no boardwalks where we live. <laughs> you know, there ain't no, look how nice this is, you know, I mean, just take it all in. I mean, we got the big bridge here, the the popular bridge that you've seen in the film The Goonies and as well as probably Short Circuit and any other film that's ever been filmed here. Now you see it in our film, our little documentary here. A little big documentary, that's what I should call it. It's a little big documentary. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, that sounds like a stupid title. Anyway, yeah, it's pretty, uh, it's pretty cool over here. That's for sure. Temperature-wise, it's getting kind of beautiful. Anyway, it's another nice day. So far, no rain. No rain at all, but, uh, we're going to try to head over to, well, we're taking this route here mostly right now just because we're going to head to the Goonie House right now. And I'm sure you're wondering, well, why, why, uh, so why don't you save the best for last, you know? No, I'm, I'm kind of doing like how I did last time. We're doing the best first because for the YouTube audience only, that won't be in our documentary. Something special is going to happen uh, when we get to the Goonie House. Of course, we'll probably stop somewhere and get some water first. If we, <laughs> so I don't lose my voice over here. But something that I've wanted to do for a long period of time <clears throat> is in that bag. It's nothing bad, you know, it's actually very clever. Something that's a popular thing to do on YouTube, but has never been done here, so as far as I know. And I've been looking, so haven't found nothing. But anyway, I don't want to give too much away, so we'll see you guys in a little bit. And whatever next next, next location, wherever that may be. <laughs> Should we get on our boat? <laughs> Oh, 
top here. I apologize for the wind if there's any wind. <laughs> Well, what do you think, Mike? <laughs> a little bit. I apologize for that if it's, well, for Mother Earth being kind of a bitch today. <laughs> Mother Nature being a bitch. Oh, wow. Well, Mike, take it all in. <laughs> I bet you you want to probably live here now, huh? <laughs> yeah, probably. Yeah, of course. Who would? Who would want to wake up to this every day here? Yeah. Rather than the sound of people going to work at Polaris or anything like that. Here. Anyway. Oh, it's beautiful out here. I hope it's. I'm sure it's really like some windows too. Look at that, though. Very nice. What's up, Mike? <laughs> How, how's your experience so far? <laughs> so far, so good. Well, you want to tell folks where we are or where we're getting close to? Well, right now we are getting close to Goonie House, and then I think you can see it. We're standing. There we because, go. Yeah, right up there is Goonie House, and right there is the King Iron Cop building. Let's see, hold on, I'm gonna make sure I got it right in frame here. There we go, right here. Perfect. So you can tell folks we're getting we're getting off and close anyway. And uh, it's kinda cool because we might uh, if there if there's somebody staying there right now, uh, if that person is home, I just tell it too much. Uh, if that person is home, it might be a surprise in there for somebody. <laughs> we'll see. We will definitely see. Because it looks like there is somebody home, from what I see. And the flag is their flag is up, so that might mean that there is somebody there. That Sandy might be there still. Because it's only the 10th today. And she said she'd be gone probably the weekend or the 12th or the 13th, maybe. But if she's not there, somebody might still be there. Because the flags are up, so. I'm thinking that's normally a good sign when the flag is up. But, uh. Anyway. It's getting pretty exciting, huh? It we're is. here. We're in Astoria, Oregon. We're we're living it up, you know. Yeah. I mean, I'm <laughs> if, if I say if I talk anymore, I might start crying for no reason, dude. <laughs> <You know? laughs> I mean, I, I don't have tears right now, but just you know, uh, just allergies, I think. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> That's what we'll say. <laughs> but uh, this will be a YouTube exclusive once we get close up there, anyway. And then uh, a little later we'll talk to the guy who owns the uh, coffee house right over here. And then uh, Gino's Pizza, that's the place I was talking about. Yep. The pizza eatery, so. Yeah. And this won't be the, the only time that we'll be here this, you know, these next few days. Because we'll be coming back here a little later as well, so. Anyway, so as we get closer we will uh, start filming. Once we get up the driveway, or once we go to the driveway, we'll start filming. Well, Mike, we have arrived yes, we have. <laughs> at the Goonie House, and for the people that have, uh, were just we just got done filming a, a document, or well, not documentary, with the DVD update anyway, uh, for for all you guys know. Well, I guess that's kind of the surprise I kind of just gave it away, didn't I? <laughs> oh well, you go on my YouTube video or YouTube channel, you'll see the, the the DVD update that we just did. First time ever that's ever been done live from the Goonie House. That's yeah, pretty cool. Mike did the camera work. He did a good job. Uh, and uh, yeah, I mean, this is special for both of us. And we're gonna try to see as we're gonna try to hold the camera and see if we can uh, if see if anybody's home and see if we can get a tour. And if not, if not, then uh, I guess we'll try back again a little later because we're coming back here. There's another surprise that will probably be happening maybe on Saturday uh, to somebody that I know. But uh, somebody that is uh, part of my family, uh, there's somebody that's coming uh, that I'm kind of surprising my brother with. But uh, uh, he'll find out, you know, eventually when he watches this anyway. Uh, more of a surprise for my brother than it is for anybody else. But since he couldn't be here either. But anyway, so Mike, I'm going to let you hold the camera. Okay. 
I wonder if all I see is, we'll see if we can get back and go through anybody's home. And... Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. They always say the louder the better. Get there for now, at least. <laughs> should be fine. Well, I'll, I'll carry it. Oh yeah. Because it is cool. So it's a nice little town, but we don't want to get robbed. <laughs> no. What do you think? Yeah, we're already at the Goonie House already. Let's just hope somebody is here. Look like anybody's home besides the dogs. Well, she's probably still on vacation, probably. Yeah. That's okay, though. But still, I mean, it's, it's nice to take it all in. I mean, we're at the Mooney house, just hanging out. I, I figured I'd give it a shot and see if Sandy was home or she not home. She told me she's going to be going on vacation because she's. One of her daughters is getting married, I guess, or I believe, or whatever. I would figure somebody would have been home anyway, unless somebody's just watching the dogs around them, more likely. So we don't want to trespass or anything like that. Be right right sure. But I'm sure we're not the only people. Look over here. This is kind of where, uh, you ever seen the Zagonis where they're in the, in the hallway, kind of? Or the yeah. Like the hallway where they're sitting. actually had like a, uh, what Jim told me, uh, they had a uh, beta way up there in the window. Yeah. And he had like a, he was doing something like Indiana Jones, like, just because he was an Indiana Jones as well. So going from here all the way to the, to the, the door over there, the front door. Oh. And by the way, for some of you people that actually thought that I was going to be doing the truffle shuffle, no. <laughs> <laughs> you don't want to see that. <laughs> I mean, it's funny, it's goofy. If we had, you know, a very fat person with us. Maybe that'd be more exciting than seeing me do it. <laughs> you guys come down here. You, you know, you can film your own trouble shuffles, but I'm not doing the trouble shuffles. We're here. We're making a documentary, and we're just here to, to have a good vacation. Uh, but truffle shuffle is just something I did not come here to do. <laughs> but anyway, cool anyway. It's, uh, see, it's uh, too bad that Sandy was at home because I sent her an email this morning on Facebook. And, uh, because maybe the vacation was canceled or anything, but no, she was gone, so. But it's okay, though. Well, there is a video that somebody did do a while back, a couple years ago, during, I think during the anniversary. Um, she just let people tour the house and all that stuff. But, so it kind of gives us kind of an idea of what it looks like anyway. The only thing that's different is like upstairs, we were working up the attic, attic at the time. Remember that video? Yep. Uh, but I'm sure by now, so. <laughs> but people want to go up the attic.
dramatic because they believe that it looks exactly like the, in the movie, but that was just a sound stage. I hate to spoil that to you. But, <laughs> <laughs> but this is why we're here. Though. This is uh, the, pretty much the road back to Astoria, Oregon. My second visit, or my last visit, but you know, it's not the end for me. And it's definitely not the end for Mike. But no. It's just the end of one chapter I mean, and the beginning of a new one. Yeah. But, uh, talks about or anything, but it's just right here. Uh, it's not a movie house or anything, but it's just, uh, I think the thing is, Jim's mom or whatever, or, or Jim at the time, owned all of these houses. Okay. That's why he wanted to be up here. And I'm sure this house, the value of this house, the goodie house, is valued. I'm sure it's, it would cost a lot of money to, to own it. They know uh, at the time when nobody lived there, uh, over here at the house, it was about starting to fall apart and everything. I know Sandy did a lot of work with it to, to get it to, so it looks, you know, like, like a livable house. You know, so, sorry, Sandy, that we didn't get a chance to meet you and everything, but, uh, you know, but I kind of knew that from the beginning. It's kind of kind of a repeat because the last time I was here, you were in California. It was nursing or whatever. But it's okay. You win some, you lose some, I guess. It sort of made it really, really cool. So, you know, some people wanted to uh, a tour or whatever the place. But, uh, well, so this is the Goody House. We'll probably come back here on uh, the, a couple more days, in two days, because there's going to but, but the other surprise that will be for the documentary, not for the YouTube, uh, somebody that's supposed to be coming that's a, it was, as a former friend of my brother, or brother and a former friend of mine that we kind of grew up with uh, around our area, around the Greenbush area. They don't live in Greenbush no more, but they live, they move around the, uh, in Washington. The uh, person is supposed to be covered this weekend, so on Saturday. So we'll be coming back, hopefully. And maybe then we might be able to get a tour. If not, oh well. <laughs> but that will be a surprise for my, for my brother, anyway. A good brother, an old friend that he used to hang out with, uh, will be hanging out with me for a little bit. <laughs> so we'll shut off there for now, and... Uh, We'll see you in the next part. <laughs> Alright. Yeah. Gonna film a little bit. What's up, Mike? <laughs> Not much. Well, this is part of our documentary. We're here, we're eating at, where are we eating at? Uh, Gino's Pizza. And, uh, it looks very good. Some guy just made a joke about Alzheimer's. He said, I think I'm getting Alzheimer's, but I can't remember. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know what that's about. <laughs> Anyway, so how's your experience so far? It's going pretty good. You like what you see? Yeah, the scenery is pretty good. And I think we've lost a lot of weight now <laughs> with all the walking we've done so far. I'm guessing we probably did. <laughs> Probably like, like maybe 50 pounds or so. <laughs> and we're getting right back. We're eating this. <laughs> oh, this is too fun though. I mean, it's like one big dream bubble. We're, we're both sharing the same dream or something. Yeah. Yeah. Can that actually happen? Maybe. I don't know. Who knows? <laughs> anyway, so uh, after we get done eating here, we're going to go and go to the coffee place. That's just right there, right across. So it has a lot of history, too, if you don't want to talk about it. Not just coffee. It used to be a grocery store when the Goonies were filming there, anyway. So that debt dilly and scene that should have been in the movie, but never was. Anyway, so we'll enjoy our grub, you know. You know what they say, rub a dub dub. Thanks for the grub. Yeah, yeah God. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we'll see you in the next scene here. Right. Sorry for the wind. It's, you know, somebody broke wind, I think, you know. Mike, did you break wind? No. No, I didn't break wind. Well, earlier I did, but somebody <laughs> farted in there. Well, we just got done eating at Gino's Pizza and Burgers. How you, was it pretty good? Everything yeah, you thought it would be? You know, did you get filled full and everything? We had a good pizza anyway. Mike here likes pepperoni. That's the type of person he is, you know. <laughs> and I'm, I'm all about everything. That's why I just got supreme, you know. <laughs> <laughs> and he had a pumpkin spice milkshake. How was that? That was really good. It tastes like you almost had a, the taste of Thanksgiving in your mouth. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> why don't you just order a big turkey or something? <laughs> Some stuffing, cranberries or whatever. <laughs> well, the next place we're going to is this place here. And it might look familiar, and it might not, but it probably much should look familiar because it was a. It was uh, used in the movie The Goonies as a deleted. Boy, all this noise. It was used in the movie The Goonies as a deleted scene, anyway. 
and uh, used to be a grocery store back in the day, an old style mom and pop grocery store. Now, at least for the last 15 years or so, it's been uh, been known as a coffee place, a story of coffee. So we're gonna go take a look. And I've been in here once before, the last time I visited, and this time I'm actually gonna buy something because <laughs> I know mom and dad love coffee, but this will be the best coffee they've ever tasted. Trolley. <laughs> They're waiting for us. Yeah, probably. <laughs> well, hopefully we'll be able to get out of there sooner or later. We'll figure it out. Anyway, this is our next place right here on our little documentary. The little big documentary. <laughs> here you are. And you can see the goody house all the way from here. Oh wow. Yep. Pre pretty good uh pretty good view of it anyway. That's where we were when we just got back out of the Astoria coffee shop and now we're just looking at these people getting off the bus. What if they were around when kindergarten, kindergarten cop was just filmed? Probably not, because more likely these kids are probably 16, 17 now, and were born in like 93, 94. <laughs> anyway, we're going to go over here real quick, because uh, what do you think of Gino's uh, Pizza, and what do you think of the Astoria Coffee House? Uh, it was pretty good. That guy... I, I, the first time I ever met that wife, or his must have been his wife, or whatever. But the guy I've talked to before, he, he kind of reminds me of like, uh, I don't know, like looks like somebody I ever know. Well, here we go. This is the Goonies of Astoria. This is the, the house where the Goonies stayed when the movie was getting filmed. I don't know who lived here at the time, but it's kind of cool anyway. I'm sure uh, for people who remember the pictures I put up for the last trip from 2008. Was this one of the pictures that I included and still looks the same. They all stayed here. Pretty amazing, huh? What yeah, do you think? What do you think of the artwork and all that? Yeah. That's really amazing. Do you think you could draw something like that? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I keep putting you on the spot. Yeah. Oh, okay. People might think that you're like you're like the host and I'm just like a narrator because you hardly ever see me, but I'm here though, in spirit. Yep. <laughs> Do my technical voice over a green bush while well, well, Mike's in that story by himself yeah. with a floating camera. <laughs> yeah, whatever. And yeah, you can see that the Goonie House is pretty good from here. And it's been a beautiful day. It's starting to get nice outside. And, you know, the one thing that I like about this area too, other than this and everything I've always pretty much say anyway, is the fact that it's everybody's so nice here. I haven't met anybody that's been vegan yet. Met a couple of people on the train that were like that, but I met that one guy. And, uh, I guess that's what it's for. It's for Jack Ritter. Dickhead. <laughs> it's a fun word to say. Anyway. <laughs> yeah, the guy was just a sort of jackass. You know, just, we were asking for the laptop so we could go online and kill some, kill some time or whatever. It was like he didn't really want to give it to us, you know, <laughs> even though we paid him to watch it. But this must look familiar, Mike, huh? I think this is around the, one of the areas where uh, they filmed Kindergarten, kindergarten Cop, anyway. This yep. is behind the school. The big giraffe, as we're called. I'm sure if you look really closely to your, to your copy of Kindergarten Cop on DVD, you'll probably see the giraffe on there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Probably the same one. The only reason why we're not going through here is because I know how the last time I was here, they kind of... Yeah, they don't want anybody that's not supposed to be here, around here, so. You can't go inside the school, I can always tell you that already. Bummer, I know. Yeah, I know. But, so there are some rules and regulations, but other than that, we can still film, we can still talk about it, still, uh, you know, share our experiences anyway. And tell a story. Once upon a time, <laughs> there were three little pigs. <laughs> <laughs> And they all went to Grandma's house to eat some porridge. <laughs> <laughs> or something like that. However, I guess three little bears, huh? Well, I just screwed that one up. <laughs> anyway, so, yeah, this is the big school. This is the uh, Astoria, I think it's an elementary school, but I think it's also, I think it's uh, called John Jacob, Jacob Heimer Smith? No. John Jacob Elementor, Elementary School. So it's just all just uh, kindergarten through This was a school at my court too. <laughs> no? Are you sure? Does the Rosa school look just like this? Really? I, I, I could have swore. <laughs> oh, a Greenbush school. Does that look like this too? No? No. Are you sure? 
Well, it, 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 know about it. It, 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 but what about uh, Saved by the Bell? Was that filmed here at all? Yeah, I know. Does the school look just like they use in Saved by the Bell? <laughs> I don't think so. Well, where the heck were you? <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm just talking. I'm just rambling on. It's like the song by Led Zeppelin, Ramble On. That's yeah, all I'm there. doing. But yes, here we go. Here we are. If it looks familiar, just like in the movie, or the Kindergarten Cop, we go from one movie to another. We go from the Goonies to Kindergarten Cop. Now we've moved up. It's, it's no longer 1985. It's now the year 1990. <laughs> or 1989 or whatever. 2012. Oh, okay. I just try to use my imagination. Thanks for ruining that, Mike. <laughs> hey, time, friend. <laughs> yeah. But you remember this scene now? In the, in yep. the You know, while watching on the USA Network or NBC, where pretty much the, even the driveway, even the, just this little area here is pretty much the. It, the funny thing about it, though, it just looks so bigger, so much bigger or smaller when you're seeing it in person rather than seeing it on. The movies make it seem so, so much more bigger than that. But this is the school, though. Same doors that Arnold Schwarzenegger came out. So, <laughs> yeah. uh, so, yeah, might as well whip out your camera there, Mike. Yeah. Now's the time, the most appropriate time to take pictures. I've already taken pictures of this last time I was here. I'm just more about shooting video and stuff now. And this is the scene where he punched that one guy or whatever because he was like, you know, trying to hit his kid or whatever like that. Yeah. Anyway, so we are here, John Jacob, Astor yeah, Elementary yeah. School. So if you want to take some pictures, go right ahead there, Mike. All right. So we'll see you guys when we're at the next location. Yeah. Oh, let's go. <laughs> oh. Summer. <laughs> oh yeah, they actually do. <laughs> well, anyway, it's the Flower House Museum. I got it on film right now. <laughs> Out here, it's fine. The Oregon Film Museum. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is kind of cool, though. Well, Mike, where are we now? <laughs> and this ain't just no ordinary bowling alley, right? <laughs> There's a reason why we're here, right? Yeah. And what's that reason? We go bowling. Oh, well, okay. Well, besides that, what's this? <laughs> yeah. What's he doing? Where's he at? Hey, in that, uh, that's the same bowling alley that we're at. Yeah. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Hey. I, just, I take that back. <laughs> yes, we are here in the same bowling alley that was filmed in the movie The Goonies, as you can see this scene right here. As I believe this is the same picture they used the last time when I was here. And this is my same shirt that I got <laughs> with the pattern anyway. That's kind of cool. But uh, we we're signing the guest book here. Mike is going to sign it here. There's a lot of people using it for somebody who came from Bismarck, North Dakota. That's pretty cool. Yeah, I wrote mine right here. Greenbush, so you can write yours wherever you want. So they got a thing where all the people who've been around here, from the area, like we put ours right up here, Rozo and all that stuff. I don't see that. Anyway. Yeah. But right over here, it's pretty much the scene right here. They keep it open, pretty much. This is where Chunk pretty much spilled his drink. <laughs> AKA Jeff Cohen. See McDonald's and everything. Bridge and everything. It's pretty cool. It's a nice bowling alley. They remodeled a lot, I guess. But, but it's cool to say that we were here and everything. So we're gonna eat, place, do some bowling, and maybe even film that. Who knows? <laughs> Hopefully, we'll get a spot because it looks like it's kind of busy. But, yeah. but I'm thinking they're open pretty late, so I think we'll be all right. But don't take my word for it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Oh, jeez. Yeah, almost got it there. Tell me why. I thought that was pretty good. I guess you beat me by a point there. Mike got eight, I got seven. <laughs> oh, we're just having a good time. Oh, jeez. Oh. Oh, wow. You told me you never bowled before. Jeez, you must be a liar. <laughs> no, no, you said you never. You, you told me you never bowled before, ever, in your entire life. You didn't even know what bowling was. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding with you. Mike actually won three Olympic gold medals in, <laughs> in bowling. The only reason why he stopped doing it is because he got he got arthritis on his hands. <laughs> Probably be undefeated. <laughs> well, you still beat me, Mike. I can't believe it. I'm actually losing. I'm actually losing to you. Yeah. Used to be very. We should. We should bet somewhere. <laughs> bet who pays for the rest of the ticket or something. <laughs> I'm, just I'm just kidding. Oh, Mike. My little nephew, my little nephew Isaac, can play better than that. He's not even, he's not even two yet. <laughs> it's okay. Well, you get another chance, though. Hope you know that. <laughs> Okay, 
get by the point where we're still at the uni or uh, we're still at the uh, bowling alley. It's called the Ellison Bowling. It's in Astoria right here, so it's the only bowling alley they got. Last time I was here, I never got a chance to play. This time I get to play. You're still beating me too, by the way. So be proud of that. Oh wow! <laughs> I think you might be good. I think you might win this one there, next year. Oh yeah, nine pins out. Wow, dude. <laughs> Was close. <laughs> oh, jeez. It's like a Playboy bunny. <laughs> God. Well, they don't think it would be there. Oh man, gutter ball. Uh, I feel like my mind's in the gutter. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't know, I cracked myself up here. <laughs> I think I'm getting Alzheimer's, but I can't remember. <laughs> I know, I already used that joke already. <laughs> A little bit of a little documentary, so. <laughs> oh, actually, I'm beating you now. How the heck did that happen? I thought I had less, uh, like 10 less than you, but. Oh ah, well, whatever. Oh, 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 oh. Almost. Oh. You, you, you dinged it a little bit. <laughs> what happened? Yeah, what happened? What did I do? <laughs> okay. There you are. Uh, okay. Wow. I had you on Zoom there for a second. So you were really... Let people like it. I'm supposed to press on the mic, dude. <laughs> for me. <laughs> Serious. This thing, Jeremiah Weed. Remember that commercial that we talked about? Yeah. <laughs> well, I've had a little practice with bowling a little bit. Not, it's been a long time since I've done it, but uh, we used to play it online a little bit. So it's almost nice to do it in real life, huh? <laughs> Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh, God. Holy Whoa. Wow. I didn't realize 
realize you had wrestling over here? <laughs> <laughs> it's like wrestling a monkey. All right, go ahead, Mike. Entertain people. Make them. Make them better. Make them happy. <laughs> This nice paint artwork and stuff. Almost, that's what it looks like outside right now. And oh, yeah. they have it look, make it look like you're, you're still outside, kind of. That's pretty cool. Yeah. So now you're beating me again. <laughs> hey. Whatever. Yeah. Okay. Oh. Reminds me of all the times I watched Roseanne and all the bowling episodes. You know? <laughs> but John Goodman would bowl and he'd be like, yes. <laughs> 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 Oh, that was, wow, I'm really beating you down. They must see the parts that's a little different than me. I got 64. I'll make you my 20. How the heck does that work? <laughs> Who does the point system around here? <laughs> uh, I guess you can just call me Earl Hemner. <laughs> How'd you be <mean> Bret Hart? <laughs> yeah, I think I got, I got screwed yeah. up. <laughs> Don't blame me, it's a computer. <laughs> After. <laughs> My mistake was at league tonight. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> How come we're not in league? Two times in a row. Just, just make me look more pathetic. Than it. <laughs> <laughs> oh well. Oh yeah. What? Okay. Sure. Yeah, okay. Make fun. <laughs> That's inspiration there for you, Mike. Now you can beat me now. Mike, you gotta go a little faster, you gotta put some oomph in it. <laughs> you're, you're playing like, you're playing like my grandma out there now. You're playing like Betty White out there. <laughs> 
Eat a Snickers. <laughs> oh, jeez. Okay. Do you need a Snickers at all? <laughs> yeah, you play like Betty White out there, right? Or you play like John Rickles or something. <laughs> Just a little more speed and you'll probably get a strike <laughs> before we all go on strike. <laughs> oh well. See how we're doing so far. seem to make fun of you like they did me. Help, of course not. They only make fun of me. They don't make fun of you. I don't know why. Yeah. <laughs> 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 yeah, I know Ken. Be proud, you know. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, <hang on. laughs> All right. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, this is the last frame here, so when I'm done here, then we're done. Yeah. Just so you know. So, so far the to total is, I'm leading by 73, you're losing by 65. So, we'll see what happens, I guess. <laughs> yes, there you go. <laughs> Thank you. 
the object of the game is not to score at all. <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations. Yeah, thanks. I still got my beer. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. No drinking over here. All right, well, I won. Final score, me 88, Mike 65. Good game. Yeah, good game. Yeah, good game. All right, we'll see you guys in the next one.